When you hear, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. At the end of a YouTube video, you think it would be a starry-eyed teenage gamer, but behind that playful voice is a hard-nosed millionaire who made a fortune in real estate sales in Beverly Hills and from sharing his experiences on YouTube. Meet Graham Stephan, who became a successful realtor at 18. Graham Stephan was born on April 22, 1990 in Santa Monica, California to a middle-class family. He grew up in a small home where his parents were living paycheck to paycheck. His parents didn't have many connections, but they were supportive. While in school at the age of 13, he managed to get a job at a marine aquarium wholesale firm, which traded in exotic fish and coral. Graham's job was to take pictures of the incoming inventory, Photoshop it, and then upload it to their website. He was paid a dollar for every picture, and with his speed of work, he was able to make about $100 a day. This was a ton of money for a teenager without any liabilities. With easy money at an early age, Graham started seeing his studies as useless, and his grades started suffering. When he got his driver's license, he even started ditching school frequently since now he can drive straight to work. He says, I would be sitting in my geometry class thinking like this is a 45 minute class. I can be photoshopping 25 pictures in this time. What would I rather have, 25 bucks? The party didn't last long and the aquarium business was sold when he was 16. Like any other glam boy stuck in his late teens, he shifted his goal towards becoming a famous drummer. He joined a band and toured with it to play at some groovy places. Their music even made it into some indie movies. Meanwhile, the school grades kept falling. What didn't change was Graham's income. The musician's life was paying him pittance even if it brought some popularity. He had a mini realization. I didn't want to be one of these dudes who's an amazing musician, but he's living out of his van in front of the Roxy Theater on Sunset. He adds, it's so competitive as a musician. Graham gave up the music aspirations and his interest now anchored on investing. His love for money wasn't new, and he decided that investment banking is the only way to earn piles of money. So while in his senior year of high school, he applied to Pepperdine University in Malibu that would groom him to achieve his dreams. But the school truancy was coming back to haunt him. Terrible grades and a low SAT score made sure his application to Pepperdine was rejected. This was also the time when he was spurned by his high school sweetheart. He went into a depression, but Graham was a fighter. He got back on his feet and started looking for other ways to make it big. During the few month gap between the last day of high school and graduation, he took up a data entry job in Santa Monica that specialized in precious metals. While at it, he was still conflict ridden and overcoming depression. His heart lied in investment banking and he was unhappy in his nine to five data entry job. He would look out the window of his office and see rich people leisurely strolling around while he was slogging in his cubicle. He wanted to live a life of luxury and started exploring ways to get into real estate. He started taking online classes and the application process for the real estate license. He would attend open houses and talk to real estate agents for tips. It was 2008 and the market was on a downslide. Every single agent advised him to wait since this was not the right time to get into real estate. He was just short of 18 and was advised to get some experience before plunging into the cutthroat market. Graham was young and brash. He didn't listen to anyone and started a single-minded pursuit into real estate. Two months had passed without any success and one day he attended a random open house in the swanky Bel Air Enclave in Los Angeles. He was captivated by an agent who sold a one and a half million dollar home Unlike other guys in the business, the man actually encouraged him and told him this was the perfect time to get into the business. He flipped it around with reasons like Graham was young, unmarried, and without liabilities, and that's why he's in a position to take risks. He assured that by the end of four years, when Graham's friends will be graduating college, Graham will be earning $100,000 a year. I was just sold. It was that little bit of encouragement that really just set me over the edge, says Graham in his video. The men offered Graham to work with him and split the commissions. Graham grabbed the opportunity. Graham had about $5,000 of savings from his previous jobs. He used a part of it to obtain a real estate license when he turned 18. 
the remaining he spent as a running cost to set himself in the business. He was struggling in stiff competition, but he soon found a niche where his strengths worked. With photoshopping experience from his aquarium job, he offered other agents his free service of beautifying their lease property pictures and uploading them on Craigslist for free. In return, Graham would get connections and exposure on Craigslist. The agents gladly accepted the win-win offer. Graham initially obtained 12 listings, which got his phone ringing. As the leads grew, he started getting a lot of calls. He would make small amounts of a couple hundred dollars in the deal. This later blew up to $1,000, and he ended up making $35,000 in nine months. Graham had arrived. Graham was making good money in leasing, but at 18, he was considered too young to be trusted for a purchase deal. He persisted another nine months before he eventually made a deal with a Beverly Hills home for $3.6 million. He made a commission he had never dreamt of. He then joined Coldwell Banker Previews International, and his sales volumes started soaring. He lived frugally and amassed savings, which he used to buy rental properties in 2011, when the prices were low. He bought his first dream car, a Lotus Elise, and since then his stable is growing with fancy cars, the latest being a Tesla Model 3. Over the next 10 years, he made about $140 million in sales in residential real estate. In 2017, Graham casually uploaded a YouTube video, How to Be a Successful Real Estate Agent, shot on his iPhone. A few views encouraged him to post more, and he was soon uploading two videos a week on financial topics. His channel, Graham Stephan, blew up to over 2 million subscribers. He started another channel, The Graham Stephan Show, which was more towards the comic side of money-making. It currently has over 400,000 subscribers. His videos now cover a range of topics, from how to build wealth as a teen to buying a Tesla for free and he regularly posts reaction videos to CNBC Make It's Millennial Money series, offering commentary on how the subjects could improve their finances. His YouTube career of financial coaching became so immensely successful that his income of over $90,000 per month from the platform now surpasses his real estate income. He made $1 million in 2019 just from YouTube. Stefan became a millionaire in his 20s. Working for the Oppenheim Group, he earns about $150,000 a month living in an expensive house. He serves buyers and sellers of luxury property in Los Angeles. His notable clients include Orlando Bloom, Chloe Moretz, Suki Waterhouse, LeVar Arrington, Whale, Casper Incorporated, and many others. He's a YouTube star, educator, and influencer. Well, that was all about Graham Stephan. Do you think you too can become a millionaire replicating his methods? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for the latest updates.